Hey y'all, Kevin here, and this is Pure Reviews. If you're new to the channel, please do hit that subscribe button. And if you find this particular video helpful, be sure to hit that uh, like button, maybe share with a friend, leave a comment, all those really do help out the channel. So today's product I wanna to talk to you about is a watch by Samsung. It is the Active 2 watch. Uh, when you order it, you're gonna get it, it's gonna come in this little box here. Uh, now a lot of things, basically all you're gonna get is the watch itself. And then you're gonna get the charging puck it's that you uh, use to charge the watch. It's USB on one side and then it's magnetic here. So the watch just sticks like so and charges up. Now you can charge the watch also um, if you have a wireless charger or if your phone, for example, can, uh, if you're in a, like in a rush or a pinch and your phone can do the reverse charging, you can do that also with the watch. So you have some charging options. Now, the watch itself comes in a lot of color options, various different silicone bands and different housings around the watch. So I will include a link in the description uh, that'll take you either to Samsung or Amazon. Um, and so you can see all the different colored options, but they will, uh, you can kind of tailor it to your personality, which is really, really great. The face itself of the watch comes in two different sizes. You've got a 40 or a 44 millimeter uh, watch face. Uh, it has four gig on board memory. Um, and then it also comes with either Bluetooth or the LTE. Now this particular one is Bluetooth. I didn't spring for the LTE because it costs a little bit more money and I always have my phone on me and nor did I want it, the extra charge from the cell phone couriers. Now, however, if you are a situation where you can't have your phone on you, but you want to still get those email notifications or text messages or see who's calling, and the LTE may be worth it. So kind of have to gauge how often you would need those cell towers for just your watch. But um, once you kind of figure out the, the customization features of the exterior, you can see it's really geared towards fitness. Um, it's a very nice, slim, modern look. It's got the silicone bands, which is great if you're working out with sweat and everything. The buttons on the side are very uh, slim and narrow, so they don't stick out really much. And then it's got a very clean interface here on the on the front, a nice little kind of bezel that just f falls off the edge of the watch face. Now, with that said, there is nothing here that will protect it, so you got to be careful of banging this edge because you could damage the screen because um, there's not a bezel that could protect it. But uh, that's kind of the only disadvantage of that look. Now, as far as the various features on board, it has a ton of health options, which is really, really great. It does everything from monitoring your heart rate. Uh, I think it does it like once every hour. And then if you're doing a workout, it's continuous. Uh, it also has features like um, measuring your blood oxygen levels. It will, uh, if you wanna track uh, your water intake, uh, your periods, uh, it also tracks your sleeping, uh, which could use a little improvement in my opinion. So the sleeping, if you like to watch TV or read before bed, um, it may think you're asleep. And so it kind of gives you less of a score because it says you're awake, waking up a lot right before going to sleep. And there's no way in the app to like correct the time that it says you went to bed. Uh, that would be a nice little upgrade if uh, Samsung put that out there. But right now it's it's set. So uh, that's the only thing with the sleeping. But the sleeping will tell you how long you had were in deep sleep, REM, or awake, which is really, really nice. Uh, it also has the ECG mode. Um, so that, that mode will basically, you uh, put your two fingers here and it looks at your pulse rate and kind of sees if you have um, an irregular heartbeat or if there's something going on that you may need to notify your doctor of, uh, which is a nice little feature that this watch has. Uh, I believe also it has um, blood pressure monitoring if you are in Europe and Asia. That is not approved by the FDA here in the States as of now. But from my understanding, if that does get approved someday, it's already built into the watch's OS and they can just turn it on. But for now, it's not on for the States. Now, when it comes to workouts, Samsung's really stepped up the game. They have uh, t uh, 40 options of workouts, whether it's running, using an elliptical machine. There is a ton of workout options on the screen to choose from. Now, there's a quick app that will set your favorite three, but you can always access all of them 
um, on the interface and you just kind of pick what workout you want, which is great from yoga to swimming, running, etc. Um, and then even out of all those workouts, there's seven that will actually automatically track if, for example, if you're a runner, the running one will automatically realize in case you forgot to hit the workout button, it'll realize you're running. Uh, same thing with walking. Uh, that's kind of a nice feature, but most likely if you're working out, you're probably going to know to hit that button, but it's there in case you need it. And um, Samsung's on their phone, you can really see the breakdowns of your workout and all the information, where you've been, if you have the GPS tracking and all that kind of stuff. So there's a lot of information to go through that will help you with your workouts, which is really, really nice. Uh, as far as battery life, I would say you get about two days charge pretty easily. After that, it, it kind of really depends on your usage. Now, uh, if you are heavy with the GPS or listening to music off your watch or taking phone calls via the watch, then you're gonna get a lot less battery life. But I would say for the average user, you, you're gonna get around two day um, charge off of this. And that's using it for basically getting text messages, email notifications, uh, maybe denying some phone calls or seeing who's calling and using it for uh, workouts that are not GPS heavy, like running or walking or cycling outside, uh, you you should then get pretty good two days. Now, Samson does have a built-in mode where they can shut things down once it gets down to 10% to extend that battery life if you're not near a charger. They also has a true just watch mode, which will really extend the life, and it shuts down all the digital aspects. It just basically comes... Uh, a digital watch essentially so you can really extend the battery life if you're in, if you need that situation uh it also features like i said uh, if you want onboard music it does come with four gig so you can uh, put some offline music like and use for example if you have spotify there's a spotify app on it so you can go for a run or a walk if you don't have your phone on you or you don't have the lte version you can listen to music uh, by downloading it onto the watch itself it also does feature Samsung Pay, uh, which is a feature that I really like because um, you can pay with things via your watch without having to dig in your purse or pull out your wallet or whatnot. And to me, I find it quicker uh, and easier to use than pulling out your phone and paying. Uh, so how you do that is you just hold down the top button here and it'll bring up the interface uh, and it'll ask you to essentially uh, put in your PIN and then it'll bring up your option where you can swipe through and select which credit card you want to use, which is really nice, um, in my opinion. As far as the watch face itself, it's very customizable. There is a ton of watch options. All you have to do is hold down, and then you can kind of scroll through all your various options. And then a lot of the faces themselves, you can continue to additionally customize, which is even nicer. Um, but you're not limited to just what's on the watch there is a ton that you can download some cost money some are free there's endless options to customize the watch however you want to do i would recommend you do that on your phone versus on the watch itself to me i find it a lot easier to adjust on the phone same thing with uh your standard apps that are on here uh you can change the order that they appear and i find that easier to uh do on the phone than um, doing on the watch itself, but you have the option to do both. Now, the watch itself does have this invisible bezel here. So when you're in the mode, you can um, kind of just run your hand along the edge bezel and it'll go through the various options. I find that kind of more difficult personally. It's to me, it's, it's easier just to swipe the screen. Um, especially because there is no bezel, so your hand just naturally goes off. It seems more intuitive to me doing it this way. Um, but it does have a, uh, it has an invisible bezel, if you will. Now, downside by not having a physical bezel is you got to be careful um, when you of nicking the corners, right? So you want you don't want to like if you're out and about, you don't want to drop it or hit a stone by accident or something like that because you can damage the screen. So that is a disadvantage of not having a traditional bezel on the edge of the watch, but it does give it that nice, clean, crisp look. So at the end of the day, I'm very happy with this watch. It's very well designed. It has a ton of features for the price. Uh, Samsung has really stepped it up in their watch game and um, it's, it's a great little product. I would recommend this 
if you are into fitness. Uh, with the silicone band, with the more streamlined uh, watch face, the buttons that are barely raised, it's really designed for that active lifestyle, which is why it's called the active too, right? So it is, um, if that is kind of what you're looking for in a watch, then I totally recommend this. Uh, otherwise, if you want something more professional, Samsung does make the Watch 3, and you can check out, I'm gonna do a video on that watch too, so you can check that out um, on my channel later. But uh, that's basically it. So like I said, feel free to hit me up in the comments section if you have any questions. I do typically respond, and I will include in the link in the description if you want to go to Amazon or Samsung's websites, check it out. And uh, yeah, so until the next video, you guys take it easy. Later. Congrats, you're a rock star. You made it to the end of the video. Now, if you really want to become a legend, help me out, hit that subscribe button. And then it always helps also if you hit that like button and share these videos. Till the next one, you guys take it easy.